I will explain to you how to use coding or thematic analysis to critically analyse and discuss a text. We find this a really powerful and helpful technique, so I encourage you to go through all the resources to understand what's going on. A code is a theme, idea or category that either describes or interprets a piece of text, a diagram or a picture. But for the purposes of this video, I'm just going to look at analysing the text. You can have two types of code. You can have a descriptive code or you can have a critical code. A descriptive code describes the main theme or idea that is explicitly communicated by a piece of text, whereas a critical code interprets a piece of text. Put simply, if several coders coded up a sentence, they should all get the same descriptive code. But if several coders critically coded up a sentence, you might get several different codes arising. Now, when you code up a piece of text, you can do several ways of coding. You can start with your codes. You can let your codes emerge. That means you read the text and then decide what the code should be, or you can do a bit of both. In fact, you can even sometimes put codes together to make longer codes. The point is there's several ways that you can do your coding. So the most important thing for you to remember is make it clear to your reader which method you've used. When you're doing your coding, remember a good piece of coding systematically records all the pieces of text that you're analyzing and the codes given to each piece of text. And make sure you put all your analysis in a neatly say, labeled set of appendices. Then when you actually do your critical writing yourself, to use critical codes in a piece of critical writing, in general, do not discuss individual sentences. Instead, discuss a theme, idea or category. That means discuss a specific code and then use example sentences of the code to illustrate your point. Now, there are two ways to do coding and I'm going to run through a simple example with you. We're going to allow descriptive codes to emerge from one sentence. So let's have a look at the sentence. Dear shareholder, in my first year as chair of the board, I'm delighted to announce that despite challenging trading conditions, ABC PLC has reported an underlying profit after tax of one billion pounds. Now, let our codes emerge and they're going to be descriptive codes. Dear shareholder, as chair of the board, Shareholders and boards and chairs of boards are all to do with governance. So we could say, in a descriptive sense, this is a sentence connected with governance. That's one potential descriptive code. In my first year as chair of the board, I'm delighted to announce that despite challenging trading conditions, here the chair is talking about difficult business conditions. So you could say, I'm going to code that sentence up to Business conditions, because here the chair is talking about difficult business conditions. But despite challenging trading conditions, the company has reported. So reported in their annual report and accounts. That's an example of financial reporting or giving an account. It's an example of the governance process of accountability. So we could code that sentence up to either financial reporting or accountability. ABC PLC has reported an underlying profit. Now, this is more than just profit. It's a special profit. It's underlying profit. Now, even if you're not an accountant, I'm just going to tell you that's an adjusted profit figure. So another way we could code that sentence up is calling it an adjusted profit figure code. So what we've got here is we've got several the same sentence, but we've got several different ways of coding it up. We could code it up to governance. We could code it up to business conditions. We could code it up to financial reporting or accountability. And we could code it up to adjust a profit figure. Now, there are all good codes. And one of the things I'm showing you there is you can code up the same sentence to several different descriptive codes. Here's another example. Let's start with critical codes to code that sentence up. Now, taught lots of students over many years, students love these four basic codes often. 
Is the writer talking about good news, bad news, neutral news, or selective news? Also, is the writer giving a balanced argument, or are they giving an unbalanced argument? A balanced argument would see advantages and disadvantages, good news and bad news. Unbalanced would focus either on all bad things or all good things. It would be very selective. <clears throat> so let's have a look at our sentence again. And we're going to do some critical coding here. Dear shareholder, in my first year as chair of the board, I'm delighted to announce that despite challenging trading conditions, ABC PLC has reported an underlying profit after tax of one billion. Now, Critical coding, more challenging. Let's have a look at some of the words. The chair is delighted to announce. Now, if you're delighted, you're almost certainly conveying a sense of good news. But he's delighted that the business has performed in challenging trading conditions. Now, challenging has got a sense of bad difficulty, perhaps telling us about Challenging trading conditions is bad news. So we've got a bit of green and a bit of red in this sentence. But he's saying, I'm delighted to announce that despite challenging trading conditions. Now, again, the notion of saying we did something despite difficulty, we overcame the difficulty. Even though it was challenging, we still got an underlying profit of one billion. Haven't we done well? So I'd suggest that word despite is suggesting it's a good news statement. Now, even despite these challenging trading conditions, we've still reported an underlying profit. Now, this is a bit technical. The chair here is not talking about profit after tax, which is the standard profit figure. They're being very selective and they are saying, the underlying profit of the business, which isn't all the profit of the business, it's just part of the business. So I would say it's very, very selective. So we've got some green good news, we've got some red bad news, and most specifically, we've got some purple selective news. Now let's go back to our original codes. What is the best critical code to use here? Well, remember, We've not only got these good news, bad news, neutral news, selective news codes, we've also got this notion of is it balanced or is it unbalanced? Which is why when I look at that sentence, because we're delighted and we're overcoming despite challenging trading conditions and the challenging trading conditions are difficult, but the underlying profit is very selective. I would say that's balanced selective news. Now, my interpretation of that sentence might be a bit different to yours, and I'm not saying I've given you the right answer, but I've gone through my argument as to why I think that could be an example of balanced selective news. So there's my little example of using critical coding. Final little bit of this video. If you want to read more about coding or thematic analysis, there are some great things to read. I particularly like that top paper there. Hopefully you'll find it really helpful. Just one final point to make. I'll do a video about content analysis. Content analysis can get confused with thematic analysis, and I'll explain that in another video. Hopefully you found this helpful.